Hi, I'm Larry Langford, Director of Recreation and Culture for the City of Owasso, and we're standing in the Wagon Trail Dog Park, here soon to be opened in the next couple months in the City of Owasso. And this bullpen area is it's, it's right at the entrance, and this is where you would uh, you'd bring your dog on leash, go into the bullpen area, unleash your dog, and then be able to have a fenced area to be able to come into the, the dog park. There's two dog parks actually within the, the dog park area. There's a small dog park and a big dog park. And this is the small dog park area we have right here. It is approximately an acre big and the large dog park is approximately two acres. Typically have uh, a small dog can go into the large dog park if they feel, the, the owners feel comfortable with it but we try to limit the small dogs uh, so that they're, they don't feel intimidated. And obviously, some dog, there'll be a lot of dogs that'll be new to the, this kind of scenario, this environment they've never been, so we wanna make them feel comfortable. And so a little Chihuahua probably wouldn't feel very comfortable with a Great Dane. We have, uh, in this small area, you can see there's three uh, seating areas. These will be, uh, octagon benches wrapping around the trees and those are, there's a concrete uh, barrier right there in the ground and there'll be some uh, uh, pavers inside that area so there'll be a nice uh, seating area under some trees and some areas uh, for the, the owners to sit uh, in each dog park that we have three in this one and three in the or four in the large dog park area. In the, in the bullpen, there's two holding cages, uh, holding pens, and so if a dog is acting up or if an owner has two dogs and they're trying to corral, there actually is gonna be two uh, six-foot uh, corral areas in the, and that's to your far right there. That's where there'll be uh, some holding areas. And you notice also we have a concrete border around the entire uh, dog park. Right. And this is for a couple reasons. Uh, one, obviously for digging, uh, so a dog is not able to dig out. Secondly, for maintenance, uh, it allows us to not have to mow as close to the fence and possibly catch a fence. And then thirdly, obviously for maintenance, we can just run a weed eater along there and uh, keep it uh, maintained and high quality. The both parks are, are are equal to three acres, which is going to be the biggest in the the uh, region, if not the state. We know it's going to be used, so we're 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 op optimistically thinking of you know what we get to do in the future, and we have plenty of land to do some additional stuff if need be. First, we have all this area to the tree line, so that's eight acres. All this area, just on this side, is eight acres. So we still have. Uh, four or five acres uh, to develop in the future, depending on what, 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 what we decide to do and, and how popular the uh, dog park is. There's gonna be a ribbon cutting, which will make it officially available, but we're gonna limit that initially because the, the key to most of this is, is getting the grass established. Uh, we have to get this grass established before we get hundreds of dogs and four paws on every inch of grass so we want to make sure that that's established first so that we can keep that going and then we will have an official grand opening uh, sometime probably in September that'll be a grand opening that will have everybody out dogs and everyone have a, a, a big event but initially we'll do a ribbon cutting probably sometime in late July early August just to kind of let everybody see what, that we're finished and then kind of limit some of the hours and the days until we do the grand opening completely. No.